priceless artworks. A forbidden past. Ooh, yaoi review. Hello, everybody. So, it's Corbin. Today, I'm going to delve into La Esperanza, Volume 4. Let's read the back, delve into it. This is by Chigusa Kawaii, and yeah, let me read the back for you. Smashing a valuable statue in the school chapel leaves Robert's future up in the air, but something even darker seems to haunt him every is to haunt his every move. No matter how hard he tries, innocent Georges can't find out what or who has hold on Robert's deepest emotions. With the help of a generous friends of family, Georges slowly becomes begins to put together the few uh, fragmentary pieces of Robert's past. Will the complete picture be a beautiful landscape or a terrible mistake? The rigid conformity of private school is enough to keep any kid down, but genuine peer trust and an incredible deep connection help Robert and Georges break free from the statue status quo in La Speranza. Their unique personalities set them apart, but together there seems to possess the perfect blend between sweet, innocent, and an experience is the mix of the opposite treats the key of life and love, or are the two boys a about to get terribly trapped. Now, this yaoi is a continuation from the other ones. This one takes place right after the smashing of the statue and summer vacation has just started. Georges, which is the main protagonist in the story, is trying to find out about Robert, who has vanished off the face of the planet. He can't get a hold of him, he can't find him. So he's doing everything in his power to discover what exactly is going on with him. Georges' this is, love seems to be pure from his heart, like a friend seeking for a friend, but it evolves as he starts to learn more and realize the story behind why he's, why Robert is acting the way he is. I highly do recommend this. Get into this series. It is very good. I know you can find this online for free. I recommend this. This is a very, very, very cute little coming-of-age story. Now, there is a semi-rape scene where it is almost happens, but it doesn't exactly happen. Then there is a semi-fight scene between the two boys. This is very good. Keep this in your forefront. This is a three and a half stars. I do recommend this for a collection if you are into the coming of age stories. As far as a hardcore smutty yaoi, this is not one of those. This is not one that I would pick up if I was in the mood to see some raunchy sex. This is one where, if I wanted an emotionally driven story, where I'm concerned about the two main characters, I would get this and read it through and through. So I highly recommend this, you guys. So, yeah. If you guys want to know more about it, ask me down in the question uh, comment section below, and I will do my best to get back to you. Now, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I am free to answer them. I will do a plethora of things for you. If you have a yaoi you'd like me to review, please leave that in the questions or the comment section down below and just let me know. Shoot me a like, a favorite, and a subscription, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. You like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!